Creating a snake game using an ESP32 is a fun and challenging project that requires some basic hardware components and programming. To launch the snake game, we press the button on the joystick. We use the joystick to move the snake in the directions, up, down, left and right to eat food. If the snake bites itself. 1. The player loses the game. 2. We display the score. 3. The game starts again. The necessary equipment to create the game Snake. ESP32 microcontroller reads joystick input to control the snake's movement, updates the LCD screen with the game visuals and controls the buzzer for sound effects. Buzzer produces a sound when the snake eats food and alerts the player with a distinctive tone when the game is over. We use the joystick to move the snake in the directions, up, down, left and right to eat food. LCD screen renders the game grid, snake, food, and other visuals and provides real-time feedback to the player. Connecting project components. We use the joystick to move the snake in the directions, up, down, left, and right to eat food. Connect the GND pin of the joystick to the GND. Connect the VCC pin of the joystick to the 3.3 connect the VRX pin of the joystick connect the VRY pin of the joystick to the GPIO 35 connect the SW pin of the joystick to the GPIO 33 pin of the ESP32 board buzzer produces a sound when the snake eats food and alerts the player with a distinctive tone when the game is over connect the plus pin of the buzzer to the GPIO 23 pin of the ESP32 board. Connect the pin of the buzzer to the GND pin of the ESP32 board. LCD screen renders the game grid, snake, food, and other visuals and provides real-time feedback to the player. Connect the GND pin of the display to the GND pin of the ES. Connect the VCC pin of the display. To the 5 volt pin of the ES. Connect the SDA pin of the display. To the GPIO 21 pin of the ES. Connect the SCL pin of the display. To the GPIO 22 pin of the ES. You will find the necessary program. In my website, roboteek.site. And thank you for your attention.